Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to be giving a little update on how life has been going since I got to Oklahoma. I've been here for almost, no, a little over two weeks now. Um, and everything has been great. And I've not had a bad day yet. It's been fantastic. Not only finally being on my own, but my internship is amazing. I could not have picked a more perfect place for myself. Every day has just been great. My apartment is amazing. On top of everything else, um, I have some videos of my actual road trip and a little walkthrough of my apartment when I finally got here and have all my stuff all over the place. So I'll have to finally clean up at some point and show you guys what it looks like when it's all nice and put together. I don't know how nice and put together it is because let's be honest, I'm kind of a clutter bug. I love everybody so much. Um, I've been trying not to cry a few times. I'm really excited to go. You know, it's just, I'm emotional. I've never left home before and nobody in my immediate family has ever left home. So, it was a really emotional moment for me, mostly because they were really emotional. I feel like them being so upset about it and me being a bit of an empath with people, it was, it was just hard. Um, but I am really excited and I'm going to miss everybody. Say hey everybody! Welcome back guys. I get everything cleaned up and put away, I might add it in, or I might just not show this at all. But, here is my living room. I put a sheet on the couch to cover up the dogs. Here, go. I love this kitchen. Like, I want this kitchen. Inside my fridge. Boom. Just beer. For now. Let's see. There's my little table. Covered in stuff. Here's my bathroom. Hide them from the mirror because I look terrible. Look how big my bathtub is. And then we have a little bedroom over here. at home since I moved in here. I didn't have food in my fridge at first. Um, you'll see that in the little messy walkthrough that I did. There was just beer in the fridge for like the first two days. Um, but I think how homey my apartment was really helped me with the transition because I haven't gotten homesick yet. Like I honestly feel like when it's time to leave I'm going to be sad to have to go. It's it's just been great. I just wanted to give everyone an update and let them know that I'm having an amazing time and I'm finally starting to develop my social life. Finally. It's been two weeks, which has it been it feels like it's been longer than that, but yeah, I guess I've had three full weekends here and then two work weeks. So yeah, it's been about two weeks. Um my weekends have been a little boring. This weekend might be boring still because it's raining outside, but it's thundering its ass off outside. And Miss Harper wants to go outside and walk around. That's another thing. Walking the dog has been great. Like there's so much scenery around me and just so many places to kind of go with her that we get a lot of exercise going out and walking now. When I was at home, in the trailer park, you know, I didn't really want to walk around there. It's just not, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't somewhere I wanted to be outside all the time. It was just kind of depressing. So this is a really nice change. I'm just so happy. Like, this was one of the best decisions I've ever made for myself. And I could not be more thrilled. So getting back to my internship, I chose 
a facility that's called the Center for Individuals with Physical Challenges. And this is a it's a fitness center as well as recreational therapy, which is like art, painting, sculpting, um, horticulture, which is plants, if you're simple. Um, and it's just, I don't have words. It is such a great fit. Every day has been amazing. I've met amazing people. I am excited to get up and go every morning. I haven't had a bad day yet. I love everyone there, all the members, all the staff members, everyone that I work with is great. Um, I felt welcome from the first day there. It's just amazing, you know? And as somebody who's lived with a disability their entire life, it makes me feel so comfortable to be there around these people who kind of understand, you know? And really, it's more of I understand what they're going through because 95% of them are worse than I am. You know, you have stroke victims, um, head trauma victims, people who have long-term lifetime disabilities like I do. And it's just, it's a totally different world and I couldn't be more blessed to have had that as my location for my internship. I've, I'm just so happy. It's been amazing here. I love it. Uh, I am so looking forward to the next few weeks and how everything develops. My internship has already given me the opportunity to work with a client um, and kind of set up an adaptive training program. I'm not going to use names. I thought that I was going to be able to do, well, I thought that I might, you know, take pictures and videos of things going on at the center, but these people are, you know, they've had hard lives, they're going through enough, they don't need me with my freaking vlog going on in their lives too, you know? So I think I'm just going to talk about it and maybe I'll insert some pictures of the building and this facility. I don't really know. I just kind of want to respect people and give them their privacy, you know. going on with her physically um, and it's helped me be able to formulate I guess my plan for her you know I know it doesn't look like it now because I have more function but I kind of had to work to get this you know I went to the gym for a long time I couldn't drive with my right foot until I was 18 after I started strength training and really working on it so this is just this is just amazing, and I'm just, I can't, I can't stop saying that I'm just so happy to be here. It's a great opportunity, and I hope maybe it'll turn into a job opportunity, but I'm not really sure, because I don't know how, you know, I just don't know how it's going to go, but I would love to be here long term. It would be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so my life is freaking awesome right now, and it's, a total change from how the beginning of the year started like it blows my mind how I started this year off so depressed and so down on myself because of everything that's going on and now I'm here and I'm so glad that I made the changes that I did and got the help that I needed and got away from the people I needed to get away from 
I feel like I made so many right decisions for myself this year. And now I'm just looking forward to developing as a provider in the fitness world and looking forward to getting ready for graduation this year. I feel like it's going to be great. But anyways, that's my update. Everything is amazing. We're having a great time, aren't we? We're having a great time. It's been awesome. Um, I don't know. I love all of you guys. And thank you so much for your support and everyone that helped me get to this moment. I could not be more thankful. I couldn't have done it without quite a few of you. And I hope you know that you've done so much for me this year and you helped me get here. So thank you so much. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next one.